All right. Good morning. Love that song. Contest is still going. Who can name the song? I think there's just some Shazam happening. I'm going to try Shazam on that song later and see if it picks it up. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. All right. Well, where are we? The days are flying by. I need to get on the right slide here. What do we got up here? Whoa. May 28th already. We are week nine, day three, because we had the day off on Monday for the third day. This is video number 46. We're going to do something special for video number 50, which I think will nicely line up on a Wednesday so we get to do something a little outside the box. Put a little extra time getting the everything level this morning, but now I'm looking at my phone and it seems crooked. So, hmm, did the best I could. All right, so what am I excited about on this Trippic Thursday? I'm excited about a couple Avid interviews I helped out with this morning. Awesome, the students had great answers. I just love that elective. Mr. Z, Mr. Ryberg, Ms. Roster doing an amazing job teaching it. Mr. Dibble coordinating Avid, Ms. Roster um, bringing the program to New Brighton. And it's just been great to be a part of it. And the interviews are super inspiring. So I'm not going to say who the interviews were with because that's confidential. But the two boys that, uh, that I was a part of the interview did an awesome job. And I have to think they'll most likely get into the class because their answers were great. And it was pretty inspiring. I, one of the questions is, what do you want to do when you grow up? And it's so great to see answers to that question because when I was in sixth grade, Remember, I did go to New Brighton, so I had a very similar experiences that all of you are having, except for the COVID-19 part. Um, but I had no idea what I wanted to be when I was in sixth grade. If I had to have chosen then, professional golfer would have been pretty high, professional baseball player. I think I probably would have said maybe a lawyer like one of the students this morning said or maybe like an engineer I don't think teaching would have been my answer at that point my my mom was a teacher and I really enjoyed being a part of her classroom and helping out but it wasn't really on my radar and I think later on as I got older I realized that um, I had the skill set for it and it became something I wanted to do but it wasn't something that I started doing until I was almost 30 so I did a lot of other things in my 20s and then towards the end of my 20s I got serious and got my teaching credential and it's been amazing since then. But it was something I came a little bit later to life than some people and I'm glad that I did it. All right, so that's enough of that. Um, I did put up an assignment this morning on Google Classroom. It's chapter 9.1. It's all about heredity. And here it is. I don't know if you can see the book. Hopefully you have the link or the copy of this book. Ooh, look at those juicy tomatoes. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a video from our garden one of these days. Look at this, this guy's got an attached earlobe and this guy's got a free earlobe. So I'm pretty sure my wife has an attached earlobe and I have free. So I gotta check and see what the girls have. So here's our boy, Gregor Mendel. He was an Austrian monk from 1822 to 1884. He's often called the father of genetics. Look at these cute dogs. Man, that's a great chapter. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy it. Read through the chapter 9.1 and then there's seven questions on page 176. Some of you just have three questions. So good luck with that. Let's talk about alleles. An allele is any of several forms of a gene, usually arising through mutation, that are responsible for hereditary variation. So mutants are often talked about as like the X-Men, the mutants, the new mutants. You got Cyclops, you have Professor X, Magneto, Jubilee, a lot of X-Men. I could go on all day naming X-Men, Gambit, Colossus. Maybe I couldn't. Um, Wolverine is a good one. I love when uh, Magneto sucks out the adamantium out of Wolverine in the comics. That was pretty sweet. Big question would be what could cut through what adamantium versus like vibranium or vibranium, the one from 
Avengers, like what Captain America's shields made out of is vibranium. Which one would win? I think adamantium would cut right through that. So I'd love to see Wolverine fight Black Panther and Captain America. And I think that could happen because uh, I think Marvel got X-Men or Disney got X-Men. It's so confusing because they had Spider-Man, then they lost Spider-Man. Anyway, I've heard they're going to reboot Wolverine. And that would definitely expand the Avengers universe tremendously if they added the X-Men. But that would be pretty cool. In the comics, it almost like they were two separate universes. There was like the X-Men Marvel Universe, and then there was the Avengers with Spider-Man and all those guys and Captain America. So we'll see how they work that in. But I would love a Wolverine reboot. He's such a great X-Man. And then we could see what is stronger, adamantium or vibranium or whatever it's called. All right, we were talking about alleles. Anytime I hear the word mutation, I think X-Men, I get excited. And Stan Lee, he was who created the X-Men along with a couple other people. And he was getting so tired. He's like, oh man, every superhero I have to create, I have to come up with a new origin story like gamma rays for Hulk and experimental medicine and drugs for Captain America or what have you. And he's like, wait a minute, wonder if they were just born with it. And that way I wouldn't have to come up with these crazy stories to say how they got their powers. And that's how the X-Men were born. And in a lot of ways, it's by far my favorite Marvel universe because you don't have to worry about all those silly radioactive spiders. It just They just have it. And then they're outcasts. And anyway, great stuff. I could go on X-Men all day. I will say that I'm a DC person overall. Batman, Superman, Justice League. But X-Men are by far my favorite Marvel. Although the movies haven't been that good. Anyway, check out the original 90s X-Men cartoon. It's got one of the most iconic theme songs in cartoon history, I'd say. All right, so back to alleles. Anyway, this is where we get our genetics from, our genes from, and the, the mutation, which means it can randomly change. And that's how things evolve. And mutation is can be a bad thing if it makes a bad mutation, but it also can be a really good thing, or it could have no effect at all. So... The allele are the several different forms of the gene, and they vary from person to person, from organism to organism. If you 100% clone something else, it will be exactly the same unless some mutations occur. So anyway, I'll go back to this. I got a little sidetracked with the X-Men, and I don't think my explanation was very good. But anyway, like I said, do your chapter. Come to the it's coming up office hours at 11 today for a bingo practice. I got the bingo card ready. I got some prizes ready to go. So um, by the time you see this video, that's probably already happened. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for a fantastic Friday. And thank you for listening. Let's get that song back up. And then I'm going to Shazam it.